Ellen TV cooking show. My name is Becky and today I'm going to be making a vegan chili in a crock pot. And we have a lot of ingredients here, but it's not as overwhelming as you think. So I'm going to go over what you need. We have some fresh ingredients. We have a yellow pepper, an orange pepper, and a red pepper. I've already cut them up. I just cubed them up to the, about the size of a sugar cube. We have two onions that I chopped up. We have some garlic, and we have a squash and a zucchini. And our frozen ingredients is gonna be some spinach, which you can substitute for fresh spinach or even some kale if you prefer. We have some frozen corn. And as far as our dried ingredients goes, we have um, some vegetable broth. We have two cans of diced tomatoes. I like to use the petite diced tomatoes because they're just a little bit smaller. We have three cans of beans. We have our kidney beans, our black beans, and our garbanzo beans. We have some tomato sauce and two cans of tomato paste. And then we have our spices. We have, we're going to be using some olive oil to, to uh, saute up the peppers and onions. We have our cumin. We have chili powder. We have some dry parsley, there we go. We have some oregano, and we have our salt, and we have pepper. So we're first gonna start, we need to saute up the onions and the peppers and the garlic. So this is where we take our olive oil, and we're gonna use our skillets on the stove. And I'm using two skillets because I just want it to go a little bit faster because um, we do have quite a bit to saute. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil and let that heat up. And I'm going to stick in some of our peppers. I'll just put, I'll just do half and half in both, in both skillets. Oh, pepper. And you're going to want to saute this on a medium heat. And we're going to saute them for just till they get nice and soft and a little bit brown, which is going to take about eight minutes or so. Um, we got it nice and hot. There we go. All right. And you need to put in our garlic. So we have our peppers our garlic, and our onions. And we're gonna saute them up on a medium heat. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get, let those cook a little bit. And while we're waiting for them to get sauteed upright, I'm going to cut up our zucchini and our squash. And I'm just gonna cut these up into little bite-sized pieces. Get rid of those. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Cut it again. So the first time I had this chili was when I went out to the Seattle area to visit my daughter. And she is, she's a vegetarian. And we had decided to go on a whale watching tour. So we rented the Airbnb about an hour and a half north of Seattle. And we decided that we, we were gonna, wanted to just have dinner back at the Airbnb after our tour. So we got everything ready in the morning. We put it in the crock pot and we let it cook. Cause it takes about four to five hours to cook in the crock pot. And when we got back from the tour, it was all ready for us to eat. And if you've never been out to Seattle, it was an amazing trip. Uh, the Northwest Pacific is just beautiful. So I really recommend 
if you are looking for a vacation that you haven't done before, go out to the Northwest Pacific. Just uh, when we went on the whale watching tour, just the scenery of the boat ride was just amazing. So I'm just cutting up the zucchini now, and the same thing, I'm just going to put it into little bite sized pieces. Check on my onions and my peppers. This one's not. All right. All right. They seem to be doing pretty good. I think the one on the right is going a little bit faster than the one on the left. Like I said, you're going to do that. This can take about eight to ten minutes to um, cook up our onions and peppers. The nice thing about this recipe is that you can really just add whatever you like, whatever kind of vegetables you like. If you're not big on zucchini, you can skip the zucchini. If you're not big on the squash, skip the squash. But you can add really whatever kind of vegetables you like. We're just going to wait for these peppers and onions to get ready. While we're waiting for that to get ready, I'm going to go ahead and drain our beans because the beans need to be rinsed and drained. So I have my strainer and we're going to just grab a can of beans. We're going to rinse them and drain them. See how these are going. This is okay, we're doing pretty good. Looks like the one on the left take a little more time. Grab our garbanzo beans. What I really like about this recipe is that um, the, the hardest part is just cutting everything up. But once you get everything cut up, the rest is really pretty simple and it tastes really good. So we're just going to let these cook. Get these. We're going to only need um, one cup of the corn, so I'm going to get that measured out. Find some scissors. Get that out. There we go.
to be doing pretty good. We're waiting for the onions and the peppers to saute. I'm going to get my crock pot ready. I'm going to put it over here. So this is a great recipe if um, you are like have an outing for the day like we did because you can make it in the morning and it's going to make your house smell really nice when you come home and have everything or have your dinner be ready for you. So it's really it's really a nice recipe. All right. All right. All right, it looks like my Peppers and onions are pretty much ready. At least this one is. So, this one needs a little bit more. All right. All right, so basically all we're gonna do now is we're going to put our onions and our peppers into the crock pot. Oh, I should do it this way. seem pretty good. All right, and dump that in. All right, and now the rest is basically just putting all the ingredients in, mixing it up, and turning on the crock pot. So we have our onions, and we have our garlic and our peppers. We're going to put in our tomatoes, two cans of tomatoes. Like I said, I like to use the petite diced tomatoes. that up. Then we're gonna, we're gonna add our beans. We have our kidney beans, our garbanzo beans, we have our black beans. Okay. I'm gonna mix that up. And this does make quite a bit, so you, you could Cut it in half if you like. Um, you just you either can you just use like one and a half peppers, whatever you want, or just a half of each pepper. We're gonna dump in our zucchini and squash. Okay, we have our corn, throw in, and um, it calls for a 10 to 12 ounce bag of frozen spinach. Like I said, if you prefer to use fresh spinach, that would work too, or you could even um, use kale if you like. I'm gonna put that in there. Throw that up. I gotta mix this all in. Mix it up pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put in our two cans of tomato paste. This is two six ounce cans.
right. Now the only thing that's left is our vegetable broth and our tomato sauce, but that's going to go in last. Right now we're going to do all of our spices. So this calls for six tablespoons of chili powder. Let me mix this up a little bit. So we do. do one, two, three, We have one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of parsley. One tablespoon of oregano. And they have a half a teaspoon of salt. So I have a teaspoon here. I'm going to just do halfway. There we go. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. So we're going to mix this up really good. Alright, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put, we're just going to put our tomato sauce on top. And we're going to add one cup of vegetable broth. I'm going to put that on top. All right, and the last thing we do is we're going to set our crock pot to low. Uh, and we're going to put it on for four hours. And we push start. And that's it. So we're going to check back on my crock pot later today, and then we can sample it. All right, thanks for watching, and we will be back with you when our chili is done. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? ONTV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person, which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back to the Owen TV cooking show and our vegan chili has been cooking for about four hours so it should be just about ready. Let me take this lid off and as you can see it's really loaded with lots of vegetables and if this is a this is a 
What's great about this vegan chili is that it's only 150 calories per serving and two grams of fat. So if you're looking for a way to kick off your healthy lifestyle, this is a great recipe. Um, thanks for watching and I hope I've inspired you to go home and make some vegan chili. Thanks. Thank you.